Hello, um, I'm just going to do a, uh, a revision on the testimonial updates. Um, so it's basically just a follow up on the first video which covers the basics and this is just sort of tidying them, tidying them up um, just to make them probably a little bit more sort of punchy, um, just a couple of little mistakes in there um, which is fine. So um, apologies for the funny voice. Uh, I've got a bit of a cold so yeah. So as usual we'll start on the dashboard and we'll just scroll down to page content on the left here and then we'll click on to testimonials um, and we'll just go through those three that you um, uploaded and we will, yeah, I'll just go through all of them and I'll just check over them and then I think you'll be okay after that. So the first one that you've done is had the castle I was looking for. Um, so the first thing that I've noticed is that you've left a period at the end of the title, which um, just sort of like from grammar, I don't think you'd do that with the title. So let's first tidy that up. <coughs> so we'll just click on edit there on the right hand side. Um, so I'll just change the title and I think we could probably find a bit better title than that if you have a quick read for it through it just think of it as if you were a customer coming and looking for the first time at our website and try to find something catching like I think maybe um, a better title for this one that you could have used was maybe um, you could just use collection to be very professional that could have been maybe a little bit better or um, affordable price maybe just if, even just affordable price it doesn't have to be very long it can be quite short um, but just try to make them punchy but we'll leave it as it is it doesn't matter just next time just as usual we just keep trying to keep improving things so if this is fine it's just yeah we'll try keep trying to get better um, and then just here in between names <coughs> and um, Brisbane always just put a little hyphen like that just to separate the two otherwise if you leave it like that that kind of looks like someone's last name so Brenda Brisbane but we want to just have Brisbane there for the keyword um, and then perhaps we could also add in No, that's pretty much good for that one. So um, I'll go up here on the right hand side and just save that one. Um, we'll go back to the testimonials just here on the left under page content. And I'll click on the next one. Um, bigger castle suitable for teenagers. We'll go on this one. So we'll edit that. Um, again, we'll just get rid of that. Um, period at the end of the um, at the end of the title there um, and then we I'll just quickly read through the um, testimonial and I think you've probably found the best title there for that one so that's good um, maybe just get rid of that comma finish it with a full stop and then again, just put that hyphen in between the name and um, Brisbane, and then that's fine. So we'll save that one up here on the right hand side. And just on the left hand side, we'll go back under the page content to the testimonials, and we'll check out the last one. And again, um, I think you've you've picked the best header there out of that one, so that's fine. Um, maybe just there's no mention of Jumping Castle, so just put it in somewhere. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like I said, I don't really think people, not many people read these things. So, I mean, we are basically getting word for word from the customer, but 
we can um, just chuck in a couple of keywords. So um, I'm thinking the biggest thing was cost. Just put in here the keywords of the jumping castle higher and getting delivery to my postcode um, and then there's no name with this one if for some reason obviously I missed out a name if I ever do that just make one up just put John or whatever and make sure you put that hyphen in I don't think I'd normally leave out a name though I normally put them in so you shouldn't have to worry about that but if I ever do just just put one in it doesn't matter um, and yeah so yeah basically just sort of a bit of a recap just making sure again uh, sort of grammar just checking that making sure there's no periods or full stops after the title um, just checking that the title is the coolest sort of punchiest one that stands out as best as possible um, and then just making sure that you know we've got our keywords in here uh, which is jumping castle higher and Brisbane they don't all have to be together if you can put them together um, put them together but they do need to be sort of look like they read as someone would write it so we wouldn't put Brisbane here because sorry I'll do that again we wouldn't put Brisbane like that um, because you know a customer is not going to write that to us but they quite often would write jumping castle and it's okay for us to just chuck in higher there because that helps with our keywords um, and then yeah just making sure you put the hyphen there in between the name and Brisbane um, and also just if I ever do leave out a name again just chuck one in but that shouldn't happen very often so we'll go up and save that and that is done so thank you for that